Hi folks, welcome to Questions and Answers. I'd like to address different questions about Loxon. Uh, so today's question is from a person who has a brand new home that they'd like to build. They need to get quotes from electricians to wire the home. They have the plans already approved in terms of where the lights are going, where the switches are going, and now they need to configure that to get a proper quote from the electricians. So in order to do that, we have to navigate the light plans and what needs to be expressed to the electricians so that they can appropriately quote the project. All right, let's get started. We've got a floor plan open here on my tablet. And what we can see, it's just one room with a bathroom or an ensuite inside. There are no lights in the ensuite, just for the sake of this example, but there are six lights in the main area and there are four switches. So we've got three switches up top. We've got one switch at the bottom. And then we've got six lights in between. And we've got about nine outlets located on the floor. Now this is roughly what you would see in an electrical or a floor plan. And I'm gonna use purple as our 120 volt connection. Uh, these two would be connected, it goes to a switch. And then these two would be connected and it goes to a switch. So essentially what happens is each one of these switches, so each switch individually will turn on a bank of lights. So if we turn on, say for example, this switch right here, it will turn on this bank of lights. Now you notice there's also another switch at the bottom, that this switch at the very bottom actually controls these two over here. Uh, so then essentially we have all four switches that are controlling different circuits. So on a standard electrical, the electrician knows what to do, they know how to run it. Um, now with Loxon, it's going to differ a little bit. So we'll just transition over to the new area. So now looking at the light circuits, we have three circuit banks. So if we have one circuit, two circuit, three circuit, and these line up with one, two, three switches. So we're just gonna draw the 120 volt connections going through to them. So essentially the 120 is going to come in and typically it's jumped in the box. And then each one will go out appropriately to the light bulbs, which are connected as one circuit. This one will go across here, it's connected as one circuit. And finally, this one will go across here and it's connected as one circuit. And this is how it's actually physically wired in your house. Now let's take a look at it with Luxon. So essentially the big difference here is the switches are no longer or where the wires will go to. Instead, what's gonna happen from the electrical panel, the line will go to the automation panel and then from the automation panel, it goes once again to each different circuit. So each circuit is still represented here, one, two, and three. However, this time there's no switches in that location. Which leads to the question, well, where are the switches? Eh, don't worry. So as we know how the system is wired, once again, we know that the electrical panel is going to send a wire to the automation panel. From the automation panel, the distribution occurs within that automation panel. And then from there, it goes to each circuit. So essentially, you have three different circuits. And this can be hard for a lot of people to understand, but from here, Luxon then runs different wire to the switches. So because the switches are not 120 volt rated, they are just 24 volt DC rated, you can run a lower gauge wire. So you can run either a uh, CAT5 or CAT6 wires. And essentially from here, what happens is the wire goes across and with Loxon, you can tie the switches in together with one cable, or you can run the wire, like uh, you can run an individual wire to each switch, or you can even just have one switch all together and not have any um, additional switch. So with Loxon, you don't necessarily need to have all switches. Uh, so you could technically, we could just delete this and we could delete this and this would still work. And what would happen is within the moods, we would play with the switches. I do want to touch on one quick 
point about this. Uh, because of what needs to happen now, what ends up happening is you have a lot of 12 to 14 gauge wire running, and this can be intimidating. So one of the things to consider is panel location. Um, with Loxon, you can have one main panel if you want to, but depending on how many floors your house is, you are probably better off strategically locating the panels and having five, six, 10, 15 panels. It doesn't really matter as long as they're all interconnected and as long as your extensions are there located locally. The reason being is because this 14 AWG wire does get expensive. So in the example above here, where we had the switches, you only had one wire. Um, so you only had one wire that was coming in from the electrical panel uh, to your switch in, say, for example, your bedroom, and then was jumping over. But in the automation example, you would need uh, three wires coming from the electrical panel, uh, or sorry, not from the electrical panel, from the automation panel to your bedroom. So if we go back here, you can see I actually need three wires. Now, if this is in the basement, if this and this are located in the same area, then essentially you're running three uh, wires from that location. So this is why panel location is, is very important uh, depending on what type of loads that you're running. Now let's jump back to the outlet example. So the outlets, traditionally the wire comes in, it's coming in from the electrical panel to the switch, and then from the switch it's going to the outlet. And this is pretty standard wiring or electrician. Uh, now with Luxon, just like with lighting, once again, the automation panel line comes in from the electrical panel, it goes to the automation panel, and then from the automation panel it goes to the switches. Uh, I mean to the outlets, sorry, or the plugs. And essentially what happens is the Loxon relay extension or whatever you're using in the Loxon system will get a digital signal to turn on and off the connection and it will cut off or open the circuit or close the circuit from the automation panel. Um, and once again, as we discussed before, where the automation panel and the electrical panel reside will then determine how much wire you go here. And so if this is in the basement and you're running a long wire versus this right here where this is um, just one single wire running from your bedroom wall outlet, uh, this can be expensive, uh, especially with copper prices where they are today. But now let's look at the Luxon panel some more. We go from the electrical panel, we go to the automation panel. From the automation panel, uh, we run the 12 or 14 gauge wire that's gonna take the 120 volt circuit um, over to the plugs. And that's pretty straightforward wiring. He, the electrician will work here they'll work here and they'll work in these two areas, uh, which is important uh, for you to note. So from the switch, we run a different wire to the automation panel and that's gonna be a low voltage wire. And it's gonna run a 24 volt DC uh, signal. And you can, you can plug as many switches as you want. And because of this decentralized switch notification, you actually can now technically make any one of these switches uh, work with the outlet. So it's it's quite interesting. You, you can actually make any one of these switches work with anything on the plug. So looking at the old floor plan model, we know right away these three lines, four lines to the switches are going, no longer going to apply. What we know is we need an automation panel and this will be here. We'll call this our automation panel. And from the automation panel, we know we need wires from each switch. So one uh, we can just do one there, and then because of Luxon, we can actually just tie it into here. So all these three switches go over here. And then for the 120, we know that all the 120 needs to come to this automation panel by itself, including the plug, which will come all the way over here and come on over here. So essentially, that is now um, how your electrical will look in your house if you are switching to Luxon panelized version. Um, there is a depanelized version. We'll go through that in another video, but that is a wireless solution and it's better for retrofit. So for a new install, this is a centralized control, centralized panel. Uh, this is it. That concludes our questions and answers video. Please subscribe if you like the video. If not, stay tuned. I'm sure you'll find something you'll like. Once again, a smart and independent home needs a smart and independent homeowner. Good night.